Hey there everybody, this is Millennium Jester signing back in with Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Last time we were here, we were looking for the whereabouts of the Moonstone. And it looks like it was still there in 600 AD, so let's... Let's go see who took it in the future. Now, it shouldn't be too hard to find where it is, I mean... It's only been, you know, gobbling up solar power for... 65 billion years. Hmm... Something about that place seems a little suspicious, so we're gonna check it out. Moonstone? I ain't never heard no Moonstone. That is so... so sad. Wow. Yeah, I can see why. Your husband's an asshole. Eh, it looks like there's a little girl here. Oh, there's some chest here. Guess we're getting those along with this side quest. So anyway, uh, first things first. I'm gonna go to the snail shop. Talk to the keeper here. Uh, yeah, let's buy it. It's only, uh, 9900. Which to us is like nothing. We have a ridiculous amount of money. So let's go back 400 years. Wee! And yes, probably will say it every time. I don't know why. That's just how I roll. So let's stop in here and go to the elder's house. Where are those two chests at? No. No. We'll get those when we go back to the future. So you have some jerky. Damn, I'll give it to you. So her children are going to learn the value of sharing. Luckily these guys haven't changed at all. So let's go back 400 years. I'm sorry, let's go forward 400 years. Ah, time travel is so confusing. <laughs> so let's go and head in here. First things first, we like I like to know where my priorities lie. I'm gonna get these chests. Dying to remember what's inside. Blackmail. Cool. Cool. Ooh, ooh, cool. Very cool. Very cool. It's nice to have those things. Let's go and talk to the Chiefy Weefy. Seems important to you folks. I love my daddy. <sighs> See, we help people out. That's how we roll. <laughs> what could I say? Women, right? <laughs> Never happy no matter what you do. So, uh... We are gonna go and throw... Oh god, no. I'm gonna throw Luca in my team. For you! Anyway, let's go put that sunstone back, so that way we can get it in 2300. Because, you know, that's how that works. And then we'll go and head to 2300. Yeah, this one, this side quest, I don't mind so much because it's just running around. It's not like trekking through some ungodly annoying dungeon with a bunch of dinosaur things. I'm not gonna lie, it's like one of my least favorite parts of the game, the 65 billion BC. It's not that it really takes away from this game at all for me, but it's just one of those irritating things. Go back to your house. What do you think this is, Luca? Modify the sunstone, and vacuum, and, and science. Interesting. And it's gone. <laughs> and she got a new gun. The Wondershot, which is the best uh, weapon for Luca. Luka. 
Sometimes I amaze myself. Take a look, I borrowed a bit of the sunstone to create something nifty, and we get sunshades. I can't remember what the sunshades do, for the life of me. Let's find out. No, not select. Why? What am I thinking? Uh, let's go to Luca. Yeah. Wonder shot's very nice. And then uh, sunshades up to attack power. Very nice. All right, so now that's done. We want to head over to Guardia and switch over to Marl. Marley, whatever her name is. I call her Marley. You need to have her in the party in order to do this part. I've been worried, princess. Huh. What a jerk. Tell me more, tell me more. Like, did he have a car? See, it's some work to do. Hmm. Now we want to come here in order to get the uh, the rainbow shell. The trial. What's all this about? What what is all this? What the hell? Something's not right here. All right, so we can go down here, you know, the usual. It seems like these guards seem to have a real uh, 10 foot pull up their booty holes. <laughs> to use the layman's terms. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's figure out what's going on here. Hmm. It appears that all is not right in this neck of the woods. So we need to figure out what's going on. And a hyper other for our troubles, why not? And it's locked. Huh, nothing in this room. So let's see what's going on. No entry allowed. Marl is pissed. She's like, what is going on? Had any of you heard about the rainbow shell? <laughs> hmm. And if he did sell it for cash, what's, what's the problem with that? Hmm. I like this music too, I haven't heard it in a while, but classy tune right here. Damn. They're not even playing. It's in the basement, of course it's in the basement. It's always in the basement, why didn't we think about that from the beginning? Anyway, I'm gonna switch out uh, Chrono for Robo, because, you know, uh, the boss we're about to fight is, spoilers, resistant to electricity. I don't think this is the basement we wanted us to go down. We're gonna go down here. I don't know how this guy got knocked out. A rat bit you? What? The boss is itching to avenge the grudge that's been in his gener er, family for generations. Thirteen generations. Alright, let's just kill these guys. I believe Marl already has her ultimate weapon, so it shouldn't be too hard. Wow, that was... Wow. Get you some of those dual techs, I guess. So there is a plot. I didn't realize Marl had so many, like, animations.
Order in the court. Oh yay, more enemies. I think they're all pathetically easy. Granted, he just or he did just take a, a critical from Frog, and it did like no damage to him. And we can get some lapises and some elixirs, hyper others. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention in the last episode those sun things. You can actually steal uh, or that sun boss, son of sun. Uh, you can actually steal elixirs from the uh, flames, but it's kind of hard to keep track of who you're stealing from, so that's why I didn't really bring it up. Also, I didn't feel like getting Nova flared or whatever the hell he did. Yeah, flare. It's just normal flare. We can take these guys out, no problemo. The nice robo fist to the freaking face. that we're getting all these revives. I haven't had any in a while. Damn. Man, you guys are lucky you died in one hit. Because this is ridiculous. Even Marl can kill you in one hit. That's ridiculous. Rethink your life. Just rethink it. Alright, before I enter the door, I'm going to change my equipment around, and I'll join you guys back here in a minute. Alright, well, I've equipped them with everything that I think we'll need for this fight, but, uh, I'm going to hold off on that till next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. This has been Millennium Jester, signing off. Have a nice day.